What's up guys? Um, this is going to be a Windows Phone development tutorial. Um, if you'll look here, this is my first Windows Phone app. Um, it's really not that hard. Um, download the tools. Stay away from 7.1 beta. As of right now, it really messed me up a little bit. Um, but uh, Expression Blend for Windows Phone is free. And Windows uh, Visual, um, Visual Studio 2010 Express for Windows Phone is free. Um, make sure to... Uh, Watch out, I mean, if you have the, the Service Pack 1 for uh, 2010 Visual Studio, sometimes it doesn't really integrate that well with uh, the development tools for Windows Phone, so you might have to uninstall Service Pack 1 and start it back up again. But let's jump right back, right, right into uh, to Blend, and I'll show you what I did. Um, it's really cool. Um, Windows and Android are going to crush iPhone apps, and Windows is going to be a major player. They're not messing around. They're putting a lot of... Uh, stuff into this. They have a lot of new phones coming out. Um, it's very easy to develop apps, um, and they're 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 giving week long you know training seminars and everything like that. Like they're they're really kind of standing behind it, and um, I'm just gonna, I'm just really excited at what what it's gonna bring. So I made this in a week, and um, I used some Adobe After Effects to make uh, the um, the cool thing here. I had a bunch of other stuff in After Effects, but um, I just did, you know, only one. Um, if we look into the code here, we just have three main screens, and through this pivot mechanism here, we can um, we can actually scroll through. So let's go over to buttons, and if we look at the XAML code here, boom, just pop out into the XAML, and uh, these pivots are what make make you able to scroll through like pow pow pow. And um, uh, I looked into the code, and rather than adding in like a really big file, I just have this media file loop and it looked into some of the code this is the code take a bit you can screen print this or whatever very easy I just reference my media ended blank 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 start up again so let's just run this right now so you can take a quick look if you get any errors or anything like that on the start you know remember that that uh, that you can you can edit this in Visual Studio as well just by right clicking um, on the uh, on the uh, the XAML or the C sharp and open it right up in Visual Studio. Okay. Um, sometimes you might get errors because it's trying. If, it, if you get prompted to for Zune software, it's because in Visual Studio you decided to try and build this as to deploy this actually to um, the the WinPhone 7. And if you're trying to do that and you don't have a WinPhone 7 connected, it's going to prompt you for the Zune software. So if you see that error, go back and put it to emulator. Okay. Anyway, this is it right here. We can just click in here, and these can easily be breakouts. So this is the first one. As you can see, this you'll see it. Up, oh, it stopped right there. That's when it looped. I'll try and make that smoother next time. So you go through here, boom, boom, boom. And that's my first app. Um, I had a lot of fun doing it, and it's going to be a lot better. And I'm going to make one for C sharp following up. Thanks, guys.